Advent season is all about reflecting on how we can prepare our hearts for the coming of our Lord. Pope Francis says, It is a journey towards the horizon of hope. It is the season for remembering God's closeness to us by coming down to dwell among us. So, Advent is both a time of God's closeness to us and our watchfulness before He comes. Being watchful in expectation of His coming, the Pope continues, means not letting ourselves be overcome by discouragement, but it is to live in hope. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lyre. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you, Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day. You turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. Responsorial Psalm Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see. Your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who, are, who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. 
He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. Are you surprised to see the relatives of Zechariah and Elizabeth disagreeing over what to name their newborn child? Don't we do the same thing? This child, however, has been named up from above. And Elizabeth is firm in her faith and determined to see that God be glorified through the child. The name John means the Lord is gracious. In the birth of John the Baptist and in the birth of Jesus the Messiah, we see the grace and favor of God breaking forth into the world broken by sin, corruption, and death, a world lost without hope. The Old Testament prophets foretold the return of the prophet Elijah who would announce the coming of the Messiah, the Savior and ruler of the earth. John the Baptist fulfills the role of Elijah. His miraculous birth shows the mercy and favor of God in preparing his people for the coming of its Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. When God acts to save us, he graciously fills us with his Holy Spirit, and makes our faith come alive to His promises. When we respond to His word with trust, the Lord fills us with the joy of the Holy Spirit and renews our hope and gratitude for the mercy and gift of new life and salvation He gives us through Jesus Christ. Do you make your life an offering of thanksgiving to God along with your family and all that you have and hope to accomplish? God wants to fill us with the joy of His saving presence all the days of our lives, from birth through death. Renew the offering of your life to God and give Him thanks for His mercy and favor towards you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are gracious and forgiving towards us. Renew in me the gift of faith that I may believe your promises and obey your word. Amen. <music>